Hey guys, what to trade next week? In this video, we'll discuss dollar index. We will analyze gold and euro dollar, and we will take a look at dollar yen pair. I will share with you the forecasts and setups for next week. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's start. All right, you let's warm up analyzing a dollar yen pair. So we are in a daily time frame, and you can see that since October, the pair is trading in a bearish front. And then a very important thing happened with the market this week. It turned out that for some time, dollar yen pair was consolidating within that horizontal trading range. You can see that since December, the market was coiling and the price was perfectly respecting the boundaries of that range. And then take a look what happened with the pair this week. This week, the price broken close below the support of that range. And moreover, the next day we saw a very strong bearish continuation. Now the question is, where is the next goal for sellers? Let's analyze the historical price action and let's look left at structure. So looking left, the closest strong support that we see on the dollar yen pair is right here. Yes, we have a very strong structure support from where in me we saw a very strong bullish movement, right? So I believe that the pier will keep falling and most likely quite soon that support will be reached. Now let's discuss from where it will be safe for you to look for shooting opportunities. Of course, the closest strong resistance from where I would look for shooting is that structure support. You can see that after the breakout, it wasn't retested. And even though it turned into resistance, the price didn't reach that. So that would be the first area from where I would look for shorting. One more thing to watch here in the dollar yen pier is that trend line. You can see that right here, we have a very nice falling trend line that the market respected many times in a row in the recent past. So if the market bounces and violates that yellow resistance to the upside, that trend line will be the next point from where we will look for shorting opportunities. So traders, bias is very bearish, most likely we will keep falling, and here are the two points from where we will look for shorting next week. Hey guys, if you want to see how I trade live, if you want to see how we analyze the market live, I want to invite you in my premium educational group. There on live streams with my students, each and every day we analyze the market together. We are looking for trading opportunities, I show how I manage my trades, I show how I look for trading opportunities, it will be very practical for you. For more info, check the link in the description below, it is vasilytrader.com slash private group, or text me in one of the social networks, I will give you more details. Now let's analyze euro dollar, and we are in a weekly time frame, and here on the weekly time frame, earlier I spotted a very important weekly structural resistance. Here at US traders, you can see that here we have a very important structure cluster. And if we look left and analyze the historical price action, you can see that that structure was very important for the market participants in the past. And you can see that at the moment, we are trading within that resistance. Moreover, you can see that this week was very bullish for your dollar. We can spot even more clues analyzing a daily time frame. On a daily time frame, you can see that here we got a very strong daily resistance that was broken to the upside. And moreover, here we also got a very strong daily resistance that was broken to the upside as well. So we got two breakouts of two very important resistances. And it looks to me that the pair may keep growing next week. And so far, analyzing the daily time frame, the closest strong resistance that I see on a daily is right here. Yes, take a look at that wax trader. So you can see how many times in a row that level right here was respected. So I will expect a bullish movement to that. And then I guess from that resistance, we will finally see a correctional movement on your dollar. Now a quick update for gold. 
So you can see that gold is unstoppable and the market keeps growing. You can see that this week was very bullish for gold and again the market violated multiple resistances. Analyzing the historical price action, it turned out that this candle, the Friday's candle, closed on that resistance. Take a look, traders. You can see that from that resistance in the past, a very strong bullish movement initiated. So I really want you to pay close attention to that resistance. Definitely, the market is very overbought at the moment, and the market may retrace from that. For now, unfortunately, I don't see bearish clues on lower time frames. But next week, pay close attention to the intraday price action. And if I see a decent trading setup, I will de definitely post an update on my free Telegram channel. Don't forget to subscribe. The link in the description below. Also, to just remember that because the current trend is bullish, because fundamentals strongly support gold, the market can easily break that's huge. If we close above that resistance on a daily, we may go even higher. And the next resistance will be right here. So imagine how far the market can go after a breakout of that resistance. By the way, let me know in the comment section, what are your expectations from gold? Do you believe that this one will keep growing or are you bearish? And one more thing that I wanted to show you right here in analyzing gold is that, as I mentioned, the market is very overbought. And of course, buying the market right now is very risky. So we should know the points from where it will be safe for us to try to buy gold after a pullback. And here in gold, I spotted that trend line. And you can see that the price perfectly respected that trend line many times in a row in the past. And very nice bullish movements initiated from that after pullbacks. So if the market retraces from that resistance, I would suggest looking for buying opportunities from that trend line. To me, so far, it is the closest strong support to watch. Now let's analyze dollar index. And on a daily time frame, we can see that the market is trading in a bearish trend. And analyzing the price action, a very important thing happened with dollar index this week. The market was trading for some time within that horizontal trading range. And this week, the price violated its support to the new side and closed below that. And on my free Telegram channel, I, I shared a very bearish forecast and I predicted that after a retest the market will drop and you can see that dollar index drop sharply. Now analyzing the historical price action, zooming in the chart, I spotted a very important thing here on dollar index. Analyzing the trend lines, taking that layer right here, I spotted that rising trend line here on the dollar index and you can see that three times in a row in the past very strong bullish waves initiated from that trend line. And you can see that the price reached that trend line on Friday. And we formed a very cute doji candle on that. Yes, it is very interesting, I think. And as we know, with doji candle being formed on a key trend line on the, or on a key horizontal structure is a very important bullish clue. And definitely it signifies the weakness of sellers. So potentially from that trend line, we may see a pullback next week. But how will we catch that pullback? Let's open a four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, I wanted to show you here a very peculiar thing. Analyzing a price action, taking that structure high, I spotted here that trend line, right? And if we take that leg right here, and draw one more trend line, you can see that here on a dollar index, we have a perfect example of the falling wedge pattern, a classic reversal pattern. And what we know about that pattern is that it signifies the exhaustion of sellers. So next week, pay close attention to the resistance of that wedge pattern. If the price breaks and closes above its resistance, it will most likely trigger a correctional movement and the market will most likely bounce to that intraday resistance first. And if the price violates this one to the upside, then the market will go 
to that resistance then. Alternatively, by the way, remember that trend is always our friend. And if the price breaks and closes below that trend line on a daily, then the index will most likely keep falling. So pay close attention to the intraday price action on a dollar index. Right, readers, that's it. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. Also, if you want me to analyze something else for you, let me know in the comment section as well. I always reply. Also, traders, if you want to learn how to trade, if you want to see how I trade live, I want to invite you in my premium educational group. The link in the description below. Also, traders, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. <music>